Hello mods, it is Crashmaster, and you're probably wondering why am I making this type of video again, instead of my usual three videos, usually every every week on a Monday. Uh, let me actually check right now, how long has it been? It's been like, what, three weeks? It's going to be like four weeks, which is usually like, you know, a month, give or take. Um... Yeah, it says the last time I uploaded three weeks, and this past this Monday coming up, hopefully when this video uh, should be going up, it's uh, it will be four weeks. The last time I made a gameplay video, that is not good. That is not good at all. Um, like the general consensus is that the more you upload, usually on a frequent basis, um, is that you know YouTube will love you. They will. Uh, show you and like on maybe the trending if the video is good or like um, they will show you the videos popping up or the notifications even if you don't have the bell they'll probably like show you probably see it more often but that's not good with a person like me who's trying to grow their channel who uh, um, you know isn't the biggest channel who's trying to grow their channel but I have I've been doing so many of these like long gaps constantly and I'm so sorry for the fact that that's happening and this is why this video exists and it's going up on the channel the this Monday which is uh, May what well, today's the second so and it's a Sunday so it should be on May 3rd <clears throat> so yeah I, I actually kind of just made this video like um, I just decided to make this video on a whim like yesterday last night I said I was gonna do it and usually I like to prepare a lot of the videos. I like to feel comfortable while I'm recording. The thing is, if I don't feel, here's the truth, Mike. If I don't record, it's it's for a good. It's sometimes it's for a good reason, and sometimes it's not. And it's it's like if I'm sick or I'm not feeling good or not up to it, I'm not gonna record if my throat is feeling all raspy, and um, it's it's like you know, it's it's not a, or I'm not feeling good, or I'm, I'm like um too high or too cold, or I don't feel like I'm gonna do good. Cause the thing is, the consensus for me is that the way I think is that if I'm not gonna have fun or have a good time recording the videos, why would you guys have fun watching the videos? Like obviously, like everybody has an opinion. It's it's a different opinion for everyone. You guys might enjoy, um, but it, you know, it's just like. I, I hope you guys can see where I'm going with that. It's like if I if the creator doesn't have fun making it, why would he bother sharing it if he doesn't think it's gonna be good? You know, Mike? Um like that. Now obviously that's not always how I think. Always. But um here's here's the reason why I haven't uploaded in the last month or so, like the last four weeks. So <laughs> And and this is also another reason, and this is also going to be like a mini uh, history lesson on why and how I've been uploading. So the way how I've been, how it's been for one once I once I started the channel like so many years ago. Oh man, uh, let me actually see. I started this channel on what August August third, twenty sixteen, and I don't think it, it took me that long to until I uploaded the, the first video. I don't remember when it was exactly. It might be, hopefully, there when I edit this video. Maybe it's like on the top or right or top left or something like that. Um, <laughs> man, that is that is almost five years ago, Ma. It's five years ago. Like the the consensus for, for some people is like when you, like for channels like uh, two channels who I know who are who are recently turning ten years, SMG4 and Game Theory. Which uh, congratulations to both of those uh, channels. Congratulations to both of them. Uh, I really like I like the content very very much. I'm actually wearing a pair of like a uh, game theory pants. I cannot show you. Wait, maybe I can. Can I like uh see? I guess it's got the uh, game theory logo. It's uh it's a really nice pair of pants. This is not a sponsorship. Or I'm, I'm just saying like I I love the game theorists because I uh, I'm a I'm a man. I love science and I love video games as well. And it's like I have these thoughts of my own as well. And I love ever since I joined it, it's been one of my favorite channels that I've like would put in the top 10, maybe even top 5, probably up there. Um, and it's, and um, but that's not, that's not the point. The point is, is that, um, 
in the consensus of what they say is that like that's like 10 years of the internet it's like that's the grandpa that's like the grandpa so if my channel's going to be five years this year in a couple months how what does that mean is that like i'm like the middle like the generation am i like uh if they're like the grandparents does that mean i'm like the parents like i don't know i don't know how that works that is you know it's just like i don't know um <laughs> they could have just said that for them because you know internet time and it time on the internet is a lot faster like stuff goes like quick 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 compared to like reality where things are a little more like in the middle or slow sometimes to go quick but anyway um when I first started the channel, it was like, I tried to have a schedule in a way. I didn't want to just upload randomly. Like, I think that's my how it started. I tried doing it, like, like sort of, like, where I had the weekends to myself, in a sense, where I would do, I uploaded, like, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Then it switched to, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Then I, then I think it switched again, or maybe, like... Tuesday and Fridays. I'm not. I I can't quite remember. I know it was like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but then that was too much, and um, and then it switched to um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think because you know it was too. That wasn't too bad. Uh, too bad. Oh man, like the corniness. After all these years, I still have to be so corny with my jokes with like everything. Uh, you know, I actually recently have been making this. I I have this little book. I don't know why that's in there. I have this little book full of like jokes. Actually, I'm still working on it. It's so hard to come up with jokes on your own. Like sometimes, if I find a good one, I'll write it down. But for the most part, I try to write it on myself. I'll write it by myself. Like come up with stuff my own, which is <laughs> very difficult. I'm creative in other games like Minecraft and Terraria, but jokes it's a lot more difficult than that. Which surprisingly, you think it wouldn't be, but for me, it is. Anyway, um, then years down the pipeline, I don't remember exactly when it was. It was 2017, 2018, I think where I had an abscess right here in my face. I don't think I made a video about this topic. Maybe I did, because usually when I do a bunch of face cam videos, I'm very particular about how I feel about it, Mites. So sometimes I really just scrap it, even though when I feel like it was pretty good, it would have probably got, um, you know, probably would have been uh, pretty, pretty nice, like unboxings and stuff like that, but I'm very particular about what I put on, at least. Like for gaming videos, yes, for face cam especially, um, but it's, it's, um, basically the way how, and I, I had to, I had to stop making videos for a while because what an abscess, uh, abscess is in terms of like, um, of what it is on, uh, according to Google, it's a collection and this is just, just letting you know, you might want to skip a few seconds if you're a little bit squeamish or you don't like talking about like bot, the body and stuff like that, you know? Like I get where you're coming from. I'm not a big fan about that either. That's why I'm not a doctor. Um, right here, it says on Google, an abscess is a collection of pus that has built up within the tissue of the body. The way how I how I interpret it, it's basically like it's like think of it as a pimple, but it can grow bigger, and it's in the it grow it's usually on the inside. It's not really on the outside. You can see it on the outside sometimes, like there's a picture right here on Google. But uh, it says right here, when an area in the body becomes infected, the body's immune system sends white blood cells to fight the infection. These cells collect and combine with the damaged tissue and germs, creating liquid called pus. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like the way I interpret it. It's like a pimple that it's, instead of going on the outside, growing bigger on the outside, it's on the inside. And that could be bad because, you know, the outside, you don't want to get hurt on the outside. But you definitely don't want to get hurt on the inside. Like, you'd rather get... You know, like, you rather get punched in the face than, like, literally punch in your brain. Like, I don't know how that works. But you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say, Mike. You guys are smart. Uh, the people who watch this channel should be the smartest people in the world. Just letting you know that. Um, but anyway, I had to, I had, I had to have a few, like, the, pr the problem is, is that when it was happening, like, we, it was, it was noticeable. I noticed a little bit, like, basically it was like my nose was like that, kind of where it went up you could kind of notice it at first it was like a little bump then it like like that like basically and then it got noticeable and then one day it's like i was like i didn't pass out but i was like so tired and then i guess somehow my mom noticed my mother noticed and then um we went to the hospital we got to check that out my dad came and then like there was a, i had to have a few procedures i was awake for one it hurt quite a bit they literally drained it and it was like a brownish liquid it was not fun 
then I had to have like an irrigation tube in it and I had to get salt water to clean it out from the inside like like right here this side of my face like my gums I had to do it in my gums because I had to go it was like basically a dental surgery kind of thing and um basically uh it's just uh, I'm still going to appointments this, to this day like I literally went this passing Wednesday, Wednesday to an appointment to get a checkup and everything's fine still it's all healed my I you know I don't have an implant or anything like metal which I thought because they ate away at the bone it was kind of like like you know how in the movies they have like you pour like just green acid like the cartoonish acid on anything and it melts away it was kind of like that where it ate away at it kind of just like um kind of just get a got away and you know it did grow back you know like uh, eventually everything sealed up but the side of my face my gums everything there it's still not the same to this day like obviously with any kind of procedure it's not going to be always like going to be the same even after all these years it still is not the same feeling as it is it's like literally like a scar on the inside more fleshy and stuff like that you know how it is uh, for any of you who had a procedure, <laughs> trust me, I know how you feel. Because I'm not comfortable being... I, I did have the mask, like the mask at first, I think. But eventually, they had, you know, it's like they have to go in the mouth. So I didn't have the mask the whole time. They probably gave me some other kind of anesthetic uh, from like an IV or something. But <clears throat> point is, I was in the hospital for a while. I was miserable. It was just not... It was just like one of the worst moments of my life. And I just... I would not wish that upon anybody. I couldn't do videos. I couldn't talk. I couldn't eat solid foods. I had to like drink like uh like um like these things nutriment shakes, like protein shakes kind of something like that, you know. Um after a while I was able to like I had I had st I got it out. I had, they pulled it out while I was awake by the way. And then I guess it kind of just healed over time. It didn't take that long. I thought I was going to leave like a hole in my face, but apparently not. It apparently it wasn't like what I thought it was exactly but nonetheless um eventually everything's all good i got healed up but this passing wednesday they they we did our x-ray because usually yeah, we have to do routine x-rays um i did it and they said this side is fine but they're noticing that this side it's not an abscess but they're noticing it's because maybe they see like um some i think i wrote it down on my on this phone i have two phones an old one and the new one but uh this old one, I can't take it outside. It doesn't have any internet connection or anything like that. It's just got, like, pictures and stuff that I, I couldn't transfer. Because when I try to transfer it, it's going to delete everything on both phones. Or my old phone or new phone. Something like that. I don't know. Just saying. I'm not I'm not trying to say anything else other than that. Um, was it on my new phone? Or my, I think it was on my new phone. I don't think I had my old phone out. Uh, basically, it was, like, something called, like, I think it might have something. It might be something like sinus mucosa like where if it's not like um or basically it's it's something where it's like it could lead to sinus infections or sinus disease and uh you know it's like you say disease or infection it's like what type like be exact i'm not 100 percent sure they gave me a card i don't know if i have the card on me which i am probably going to go back to the hospital to get that card talk about it a little bit more maybe get another x-ray to see I don't have the x-ray on me i don't i think my mom has it and the card i i, I hope i think they staple it so that's probably why <sighs> I gotta keep track of these things seriously but um and that's that's just this week alone after all these years I'm still like dealing with stuff in my face and it's still like so annoying in a sense like I, it's only like what we're going I'm going to go like once or twice a year I've been doing that once or twice a year for a while now and it's not that bad the appointments were not that bad obviously but it's just so frustrating to deal with this and you know it's like I'm not scared of a lot of things, but one of the things I'm not scared I'm not scared of it. I'm not really scared of like like anything pretty much just letting you know. It's more or less the fact that like I wouldn't do it. Like am I scared of heights? No. Would I go like on a giant would I go to like on a type rope walk or would I like go in a high building and look over? No, because that's gonna make me queasy. You know, it's not like I have a fear of it, it's just that like I don't like taking chances of anything because one wrong move and that's it but I am not comfortable with surgery I'm not comfortable with going to somebody if I had the I rather go I this is what I would rather do I rather go go like I this is what I would do I would become a doctor go to the future 
go back in time and operate on myself. I trust myself, only myself. And obviously, I know like a lot of these people are professionals and stuff like that, and they had like really good doctors. Um, a, a pretty old one who was um, you know, he was uh one of the best there. But uh, I, you know, it's just like it's surgery. You know, nobody's really comfortable with that. Um, so to anybody out there who's had it, I praise you for being brave. I, uh, I understand where you're coming from. If you're really nervous or scared, trust me, I was scared too. And this was in my face. Like there was a lot of things where I had to get that too, but they took it out all at once. It would have probably messed up my face and it probably would have caved in a little bit. That would have not been good. So that's why we need it to heal slowly and slowly drain it with the tube. Think of it like a, a water balloon. But you have to, instead of, like, you need to kind of, like, be careful, poke a little hole in it, like a needle, not to burst or take it all out, but you have to make sure it's getting drained, like, untie the knot and drain it slowly. It's a process instead of just popping it all out, but it was the safest thing. But basically, this week, they're saying, like, I have, like, not the same thing, not an abscess, don't, don't get it confused, but now they're saying it's, like, there, and, like, I'm, like, this hasn't popped up, this is the first time, it could've, you know, it's because it's, like, spring... I have kind of this allergy thing where it's like usually both my sinuses, my nostrils, or one of them gets a little like, like a little bit um stuffed up, and this it, this has happened for years, so it could just be a thing. I'm not sure. I expected this to pop up at some point. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's the same thing. It's one of those things where it's like you know, it's like um if I sleep on one slide or I sleep on the other, it'll like kind of shift, and I can only breathe out the one I'm not sleeping on the side of. Kind of like that. Not 100% sure. It's just happened for a long time. I I, I, I just I just hope this is like nothing bad. But honestly, with my luck, it's probably gonna lead to another surgery. Honestly, and it's one of those. It's those are one of those things where it's like uh, I always feel like I've had bad luck personally, and I'm not saying that to get pity. Or I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I don't want people to feel pity for me. And then it's one of those things where it's like, when you say that, people are going to feel pity for you and stuff like that. It's like, no. It's just like, honestly, I feel like I don't have the worst luck in the world, obviously. I'm not homeless. I'm not, like, in, like, other places where you have to literally, like, like work for, like, the need to even have, like, bread a day or stuff like that. Like, I'm grateful for the stuff I was given and the life I have. But it's one of those things where it's just like, I just have such a bad luck streak. And it's just so hard to, to just, like, be happy for, for the rest of my life. I just can't believe I'm going to do this. I'm going to be here on this planet for the rest of my life when I'm, like, this last few years have been so, like, degrading. Because after this Wednesday, I'll tell you one point. So after this Wednesday, this passing Wednesday, sorry, this just went a little dark. There we go. After this passing Wednesday... I, this is what happened literally last night. If you saw my Instagram, which I'll put a link in the description because I, uh, and my Twitter, maybe, most likely just my Instagram because I did a little story on a video. Anybody who saw the Instagram post, they probably know I'm going to do this video and it's going to get uploaded this Monday. But the reason why is because I wanted to tell this story and some of the reasons why also I haven't been able to upload. Because obviously with that, I couldn't talk normally. And that's why a while back, for any of you in 2017, 2018-ish, I, I might put the date up. I can't exactly remember. Hopefully in post-production slash editing. <laughs> I think that's what they say. Hopefully in the editing phase of this video, I'll probably put the date up. But um, And that's why I was absent for a while. And that's sometimes why I'm absent for a while as well. Because there's a lot of procedures. Now, um, after that thing on Wednesday where I was like, oh, great. Look, now this happens. Of course, bad luck, usual, stuff like that. Last night, um, my mother gave me pepper spray. And uh, just to protect myself, basically, for no specific reason or anything like that. And me being a person of science and always, like, wanting to test stuff like that, I was curious to see what exactly it looked like. Because, you know, it's like you hear pepper spray and it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like that. It's like a thing you spray in someone's face and it's going to burn their eyes. So I'm like, what does that look like? Like, how does it look? And I wanted to test it to see if it actually worked. You know, like, what happens if it's jammed or something and I need to defend myself and nothing's working? So I decided to test it out, see what it would do. I, I spread it in a garbage bag, um, basically in my room. <laughs> this room right here, this room I'm actually recording in, this is my room. And I'm spraying it. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, hi, it's like oh, an orange red on the paper. Because there was like a paper towel inside as well. 
uh, basically. And then out of nowhere, it's like, I'm like, I, I, I guess I breathed it in. But actually, because I, I was, I, I thought it was gonna be kind of like a, like um, like a paint can, like a, like a spray, like you would do for graffiti, kind of like that, where it just wouldn't, it wouldn't really waft off. It would kind of just like waft away, like instantly, pretty much, or it'd be like it would just stain it. It was just gonna stain their face. I didn't think it was gonna be like around the air. Now, usually when you do this outside, I've, I've done a little bit of research, just some basic research. Um, you, you don't need to worry about this when you're outside because it, the air it usually dissipates in the air quite um, norm, like um, quite fast and it's not gonna hurt you if you're not too close to the person you're using it on. But oh boy, <laughs> that sucked. That sucked, my that. I'm dead serious. That hurt. My eyes were like I like they were just irritated. I couldn't breathe. Like my throat is still a little bit like. I'm still a little bit stuffy because, you know, it's spring allergies and stuff like that. And for the whole entire time last night, I barely could sleep. I slept at, like, until, like, I slept, I think I got sleep until, like, 3 a.m., which is ironic because now it's 3 p.m. Around this time, 12 hours last, 12 hours ago last night, I was still awake. My throat was irritating me. It felt like, it was, it was like, um, like it wasn't, like, coating my throat. It was, like, little specks inside my throat kind of like that that were irritating me and still burning and I, I feel a lot better after I slept as well <clears throat> um it doesn't feel that bad anymore whatsoever you know it's still like a, I'm still a little stuffed up but that's probably just the allergies the main point is, is that it was in the room I <laughs> I was trying to I used a fan to like because I didn't know at the time it was going to go that bad like it was I used this fan right here the fan because it's a little hot in here um, I used the fan to like try to like um, try to like get it out of my eyes and stuff like that and whatnot. Like um, I didn't want to touch my face with my fingers because I know that's what happens some sometimes if it leaks. And it did look like it leaked a little bit when I when I when I turned it like up to the side so I wouldn't actually spray myself. And it just wasn't working. It wasn't working at all. I then I got I was like coughing my lungs out. I I tried to stand up. I had to push myself against the bed. Um, on the side of me, right here, and it was just, I was just, like, coughing so hard, I, I just couldn't not breathe, and I had to get out of the room, so I got out of the room, uh, I, I drank some water, it, it was just, like, I, I was still coughing, it, it just wasn't doing anything, uh, so, my mom came up to me and told me, like, what's going on, what's the matter, what's going on, uh, you're, like, coughing your lungs out, and I told her what happened, and she's like, what?! Why? Why would you do that? And I'm like, cause I'm curious. I want to see what it would do, what it would look like. And I was like, if you're gonna give this to me, obviously it, it's my fault. At the end of the day, where it's like, um, I was the one who sprayed it. Nobody told me to spray, it, but I was like, you could have warned me that was gonna happen. I didn't know exactly what was gonna happen. So, um, basically. That happened. She she then she went in the room. She put on some masks, like the you know, cause of the pandemic. Well, everybody's got masks, so she put like a mask or two mask on. She tried to open the window, but it was irritating her as well. So she got out. And eventually, she went back in to open the second window, and and basically, it's like um, it was just a it's just a terrible day. I sounded like freaking Batman, like oh god, my throat. Oh god, I didn't mean to do it. Ah. It like like that, pretty much like that. It was just so bad. I took a shower, um, got it out of my nose a little bit, got it out of my eyes, out of my hair as well, as much as I could, like everywhere, to make sure I wasn't contaminating. I even washed my glasses just to make sure. Um, I wiped down my dresser because that's where I, I sprayed near it. I wanted to make sure like if I touched it or anything or if I sniffed it, if I was like breathing, I wasn't gonna get, like get it again. The room's all aired out. It usually only takes about 30 minutes. You just open the windows. I, I put the fan, like, near the window so that way it would, like, blow it out. Maybe that's why it didn't help. Because, you know, the air... Because it's, it's in the room. It's a closed room. It's a square. It's pretty much like a perfect... Not perfect cube. Well, it, you know, it's like... It pretty. My room's basically like a cube. <laughs> like a Minecraft... A giant Minecraft cube. Minecraft real confirmed. And... Basically, you know, it's just gonna put the air back on me, so that's probably why it didn't help. So I I went I, I, I went out of the shower. I couldn't get any any of my clothes, so I just went to my mom's room. I went to sit on this little stool that I found 
I put my clothes on it, then I my dirty clothes, which is just like my shirt and etc. My over shirt and etc. And I went to sit on there. And guess what happened? I went to sit on a little stool just to make sure I didn't want to get the bed wet or I'm gonna get no wool chair wool chair wet or anything else. Like it was just a normal little black stool. And then it crashed. It like crashed. It cracked. It broke. It broke right underneath me. It broke right underneath me. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. I just want, I'm just gonna sit here. Like my mom tried to get me up, like off of it. She was like worried that I might hurt myself. I didn't hurt myself or anything like that. Like the towel covered me anyway, so it's a pretty big towel, so it uh, it didn't hurt me or anything like that. I was like, that was the last straw. Like I'm just done. I I like I I'm sick of this. Like I I like I don't know. Like you see where I'm going with much? Like it just like look, it just and not get any better it's just like everything just keeps going worse and worse and worse so I actually wrote a tweet on this and I actually did like this going into the, with the video as well you know what I did this is what I said you know when this is here's the thing you know when some people say when you hit rock bottom there's nowhere to go where there's nowhere to, there's nowhere to go but up there's nowhere else to go but up well this is my well I play Minecraft so I use Minecraft logic this is how it works actually I'm in creative mode so when I hit rock bottom on bedrock I go through it and I die that's basically it I, I just I, my luck cannot get any better and it makes me so annoying because I'm like why what did I do to this this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it, it just never ends. It just never. I just can never get a break. <laughs> I just, I just, I feel like I'm cursed sometimes. I just, I don't know. Anyway, after that, the room eventually aired out enough, and I was able to was able to you know get dressed. I didn't feel like doing really much of anything at that point, so I kind of just like lay down, like relax, went to bed. I probably watched some YouTube or something last night. Then for most of the night, I just couldn't really sleep. My throat was still like agitating me. I tried drinking some water, some. Uh, and stuff like that, but it, it just wasn't. I even ate some apple slices. I wanted to eat some stuff that was like sweet or like or like um like liquid but nothing like I was afraid to drink soda I wasn't sure if that was gonna like irritate my throat more or anything like that I wasn't sure I, I, I didn't bother doing any research I was tired at the time and uh it wasn't until like I think three four o'clock a.m. until I actually passed out eventually and then I woke up like at nine today so yeah that's why I didn't make any videos and and you want to also know something else, Molly. For some reason, here's another thing. The reason why I also haven't uploaded, uh, mostly, is the fact that my software, which is called the Bandicam, Bandicam software, um, basically, it's uh, what I use to record my Five Nights at Freddy's and Benny Ink Machine, any games on the PC. I mostly do console and a variety of console, but I, I want to play... I know there's, like, console ports for Bendy and FNAF, but I, that's where it originated from, on the PC, on the computer, and I want to play it there. I, I so Honestly, sometimes I wish I should just do it on console. Honestly, I, sometimes I'm, I'm still debating on it, but I, I paid for all the games on the PC, so I'm like, I'm just going to do it anyway. I, I'm going to do it, because I don't want to waste money. I'm not that type of person. But the thing is, is that, like, it's acting a little weird. It's, like, recording, like, this. It's, like, I have two monitors, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to unplug one of them because it's, like, recording both of them. It's recording, like, my face cam really small. I'm trying to, I'm going to have to, like, I'm trying to look up tutorials. And I couldn't find anything to fix it, anything similar. It's, like, not something I can type. Like, it's not something I can type into Google, into Word form in a way like that. It's, like, I can't describe it perfectly, even like this. So that's another thing that happened last weekend when I was trying to record because I felt like I, I wanted to get back into recording shape. And uh, yeah, so I haven't even fixed the problem because I've been so busy. I've been so like agitated because I don't know. I'm just like so down on my luck. <sighs> I just. 
just I just like can't help but laugh at myself because it's like what else what else is there what do you want left and to top it all off this this uh this person who I um, messaged a while back for like about a year now like May um, last year in May I messaged her and um, we were getting along quite nice. She was a nice person, and um, I'm not going to put anybody out there. Like, a lot of people don't know who this is. It's just a, another friend. Um, and she's not responding to me. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. If it's like she's grounded or something happened to her, I have no idea. So now I feel like now I'm being ghosted. And I usually talk to this person, too, when I'm having problems because uh, they really help me to make me feel better. And uh, now, now I got ghosted that's what people say like I don't know why like I I try to uh, I can't call them it's like just this one app that's like kind of like snapchat sort of or Instagram it's like it has a message feature it's not like with a phone number and it's like well uh, yeah I got all this stuff in one week all this stuff well that happened uh, a couple weeks ago but you get the point Marts. you get the point like like just I'm really sorry I'm not uploading. I really want to do. I really want to upload fast because the thing is, is with like the age of like of like all of this stuff. Even though stuff is getting pushed back, which kind of does help me, because there's still a lot of stuff I need to finish, like the Mario game. Um, what else do I have to finish? Uh, there's a few. There's some. There's probably a few other things I have to finish as well. And there's a lot of other stuff I I need to do and catch up on with the new games and the new titles. And I don't want to overwhelm people, and I don't want to switch out too many things, because then it's just going to be even slower. And I don't want to do a second channel, because that's not something I really want to do. I thought about it, but I just don't see that working out. It's just going to be the same thing, where it's like, if I can't even record this for this channel, what's the purpose of that? It's just going to be twice the work, and I'm not going to get anywhere. And, I don't know. I'm really sorry, Mites. I'm, I'm really... I can't promise, I want to promise you guys so badly I'm going to upload next week, but I can't, because I don't know what's going to come up. I really don't know what's going to come up, and I'm so sorry. There's so many things I want to do for, like, the Minecraft, the Minecraft series, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I really want to get back in there and do some stuff like that. Um, so many things for the from Mario and Sonic, like, there's a lot of, like, stuff. I've been really wanting to do, and I just haven't had the time or the, the motivation. I, well, not motivation, because I still work on it on the side. It's just that I haven't had, like, the, I guess, energy is the same. Th yeah, really the energy of a focus for it, because it's just so, so hard to just, to just have a normal, nice day. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. And I've been dealing with this stuff for years, and at this point, it's like, I I just can't cry. I can't be sad at it anymore. It's like, I just accept it. I just accept it. And I always keep fighting it. I'm going to keep fighting it for as long as I live, because my luck is horrible, and I just accept that. I can't change that. Oh man. But yeah, that's about it. This video is a lot longer than I expected. I really hope that at least a few of you took the time to uh, watch this video. I really hope you did to understand that and say that I really am sorry that I haven't been able to upload for a while. I really am hoping to upload next week. I will try my best. I'm gonna, this week, um, before Friday, because usually I try to record on Saturday, then edit on Sunday, then upload on Monday. Uh, maybe make the thumbnails on Monday or on Sunday. Depends how I feel. But, um, for the most part, I'm gonna try to figure out something. Maybe I'll have to get a new software. I'll look and see on any other new softwares, maybe. I'll try to do my best to fix this issue with Bandicam. Maybe I'll have to unplug my monitor if that's what's causing it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still not sure about it. I'm going to try my best to fix it. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of perspective on my daily life. Somewhat. On like the days that just like push me down. Because this is, that's like my average day usually on how I feel. That's usually how it is. And I do have a therapist and I even take medication for this. 
Well, honestly, at that point, it's just like, it's just like, it's not going to do anything, really. Like, it's nice to talk to someone, and for me, the medication doesn't work. Some people say it works, I don't see much of a difference. It's just me, it, to me, I feel like it's just like, nothing happened bad this day, so that's why I don't, I'm not like all sulky and sad, and like, you know, I don't feel like talking or, or anything like that, you know, it's like... You know, it's not every day something bad happens, but then what it is, it's just on a roll and it keeps getting worse. So yeah, I'm gonna end this before it gets any longer. I'm really, really sorry about how long this really is, but this is information I felt like I needed to share with you for especially why I haven't been uploading. And yeah, that's about it for now. Um, gonna hopefully try to fix this issue. God, gotta clean this place up a little bit there's some um, I'm in the work I'm in the process of actually cleaning up and moving some of my stuff like I have a lot of like papers I want to like sort out through uh, for like YouTube and like my my personal life and stuff like that and whatnot but anyways hopefully you all enjoyed this if you if you did for some reason I don't know hopefully like you understand what I'm trying to say uh, please leave a like and a subscribe it would really, really mean a lot to me. Thank you for the people who have stuck with me for, like, these long gaps. Because I know some people will just, like, unsubscribe or stop watching. But the channel just keeps growing and growing. I'm over, I'm almost at 250 subscribers. That is really, really insane. I I can't wait to, like, end the five-year anniversary is coming up this August, in this summer. And we're almost here because we're in spring right now. We're in May. It's a couple months away. I really want to... Hopefully do a really nice video, do a lot of things in the summer, if possible, because, you know, it still is in quarantine, but I'll see what I can do, prepare, hopefully, like, maybe a Minecraft video, hopefully a room tour, or something like that, I've been trying to do that for a while, but I, I've never gotten the opportunity to, I'll see what I can do, maybe leave some suggestions, mine, just a few ideas I have on the table, but, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you all understand uh, what I've been trying to do for the last five years on this channel and what I've been going through. I'll do my best to continue making videos for all of you to enjoy. There's still a lot of stuff I want to do, a lot of stories I want to tell and explore through with games and stuff I want to make. And yeah, I will see you all later. Later, mates.